Good morning, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I literally just woke up, can you tell? So, I'm in Charlotte because I never stay home. And I'm in Charlotte because tomorrow I'm seeing Mr. Jonathan Van Ness. Yes, I'm excited. But I'm having like a little mini vacation thing. This is gonna be a reading vlog because I brought a lot to read because I'm planning to read a lot on this vacation. I got here yesterday. I didn't really do anything yesterday. I got here, unpacked, and then I found the nearest Barnes & Noble and I bought some books. And I also went to the nearest mall, which is like, it's really nice, like when you work in a mall, it's really nice to go to a different mall and just attend a mall as a person. So yeah, I have some books to read, a lot of books to read. I figured I would show them to you now. So this is the book that I'm reading right now because I'm seeing Jonathan Van Ness tomorrow. I am halfway through it, so I'm probably gonna finish it. I have that one to read, and then I also have The Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan, which is the one that I brought. One that I've been excited to read because I think it's gonna be really cute. Then I bought this one, which is Verified by Joelle Charbonnet. I don't know if I said that right. And I saw this author at Read Up Greenville where she was talking about her book. And I mean, as the, on the cover here, it says, you know, wow, Shades of Fahrenheit 451 and Orwell's 1984. So it's kind of like, it, it takes place in the future in kind of a dystopian government kind of place. The way that Joelle described it at Read Up Greenville, she said that, um, I think they like take the government like has taken words out of our vocabulary and if you use those words you can be arrested or killed and so uh that's what this book is about I mean so I was like yeah I really want to read it and so I found it at the read of green at the read of green at the Barnes and Noble up here in Charlotte and I was like yes it was meant to be so I picked this one up and also look at this look at this cover isn't that so cool? Like the words on it and everything. Like this is like a beautifully covered book. And the colors. Oh my gosh. I love it. The Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell, which I have been wanting to read for the longest time. And I really wanted to read this one in October. You know, when it was like, <laughs> you know, like fall season. And now it's winter. But I figured I'd read this now because I've been really wanting to read this, but I never got the chance or the time to read it. So it's a graphic novel and I'm really excited about reading this one because I think it's gonna be super, super cute. And I have another graphic novel here, the one that I actually bought yesterday, which is The Prince and the Dressmaker, which is one that I've been wanting to read for a while. And so again, I saw it at the Barnes and Noble and I was like, oh my gosh, it must be meant to be. So I finally, I picked this up and I'm really excited to read this one too. I'm Probably, I'm gonna get through the Lover's Dictionary, Pumpkin Heads, and this one while I'm here, definitely. Like, those are three that I'm definitely gonna get through, but I think it's gonna be so cute. I've heard such good things about it. And then I also brought uh, Dry by Neil Shusterman and Jared Shusterman. Still don't know if I'm saying their last names right. I don't know why, but this book has been like calling to me. It was like, pick me up and take me with you. So I am. I also brought Red Skies Falling by Alex London because I finished Black Wings Beating, and oh my gosh, it was like so good. I mean, I, I, I spoke about this in my Y'all Fest vlog. Alex London's books keep getting better and better with each one he writes, so I'm super excited for this one, and this is the sequel to Black Wings Beating. I think there are gonna be three books in this series, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I'd also be okay with more at this point, honestly. Um, and the last one I have is Always and Forever by Laura Jean. By Laura Jean. Always and Forever Laura Jean by Jenny Han, because I read the first two, uh, to all the boys I've loved before, but I've never read the, the last book. So I brought it with me in case I get around to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I am probably not gonna get around to all of these books. So I don't know, we're gonna see what happens, but I think I can get through like half of these. I mean, especially like the graphic novels, like those definitely. Uh -huh. So I don't know, we're gonna see, but yeah, this is what my vacation looks like. This is like the first hotel I've had in a while that actually like has like a pretty decent view. Like, okay, Charlotte is over there. Like the city part is over there behind the clouds. That's the Ovens Auditorium, which is where Jonathan Vanessa is gonna be tomorrow. And yeah, it's the, I'm staying at the Golden Green Hotel and so far I like it. The room is not bad. It's kind of a mess since I've been here, but. It's, it's like a pretty like decent room. Like there's the bed, it's a king size bed. I've never stayed in a king size bed before. Um, I mean, it's it's not bad, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty nice. Like, 
I'm, I'm very happy with it. There's of course like the little bathroom area which has my stuff all over it. And also they have a soap dispenser thingy instead of like the um, bottles, which I'm okay with. And it's, it's yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and then there's also this cute little kitchen area. Yeah, there's a little refrigerator, like it's nice. And I will say this though, the heater is very loud. It does that all night, very loudly. And then in the bathroom, it's kind of very poorly designed. Like, the door is over here, so you have to stand over here. Do you like my buddy slippers? I'm in my pajamas. And then you have to, like, the shower's over here. So this is the creepiest shower I have ever had. Because if you go, like, when you're showering in here, it is so creepy. Because, like, this is what you see. And it is so creepy. I can't, it's, oh my gosh, it's just really creepy and eerie. And when you're in here by yourself, like, I don't, I don't know. It's just really creepy and very small. Also, this one has a button on top. I don't know why, but I'm fascinated by the twists that have little buttons on top. My hotel tour. When did I become a hotel review channel? Apparently now. I'm sorry, there's this one part that's a literal mood. <laughs> Maybe the solution was that I needed some other kind of rehab. I found a weird outpatient 12-step therapy in my hometown. Only instead of a general higher power, the God of your choosing had to be Jesus. On my first day, the leader of the program looked at me. Let me ask you something, son. He said, do you believe that Jesus could deliver you from your homosexuality? I'm going to go get Starbucks, I said, and be lined for the door and never went back. <laughs> that is a mood if I ever saw one. I love that. I just finished over the top and it was really good and I really enjoyed it and it made me cry which is always a good sign <laughs> oh my goodness I'm really excited to see Jonathan tomorrow but also now I just want to give him a giant hug that's all I want to do is give him a giant hug I just this mm, I love it <laughs> This was going to be cute. It's just been very, very sad. <laughs> okay, book number two down. I thought this was gonna be cute. It turned out to be sad. I mean, there were some like cute, sweet moments, but overall, like it was sad, but I liked it. <laughs> I really love the way that this was set up because it wasn't like a story story. It's set up so there's a word at the top and then there's like an excerpt from the story, I guess would be a good way to put it from like these two people's lives. Um, and about their relationship and it was just really interesting. I love the way that this was set up. I would actually really like to read more books that were set up this way. I thought this was really neat. So I recommend checking this one out and as always, I mean, check out all of David Levithan's books. I think he's great and fantastic and I mean, if you ever need something to read, just read his books because he's always got something good that you can read. So I do always recommend David Levithan. I'm a brat. I'm a brat. I'm about to start reading pumpkin heads and I opened it up and look at how cute. There's a map. I haven't really flipped through this book because I mean like it's a graphic novel so there are a bunch of spoilers but there's a little map. How cute is that? I can't. Oh my goodness. This is a 
adorable. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this now. helps your dentist get paid. I love it. I absolutely love it. Yet another mood. Okay, Josiah is way too cute. I can't handle this. He's adorable. Look at him. Look at his little face. Look at him. He's a precious. Wow, I'm on a roll today. I just finished pumpkin heads. <laughs> It was so cute. It was absolutely precious. I loved it. It was so cute. This makes me so happy. It's just, it's so pure and sweet. And it has to do with fall. And I really wish I had read this while drinking a pumpkin spice latte. But it's, it's so cute. Please, please read this. Also, I just want to say that I feel like graphic novels slash comics were like ignored for years and now they're finally getting attention and it makes me very happy. But also, talking about like the graphic novels slash comics thing reminds me of when I was at Read Up Greenville earlier this year. And while I was there, I went to the graphic novel comic panel and they asked like, do you prefer graphic novel or comic? And I remember literally everyone was like, comic, I like comic. But then this one lady was like, I don't like comic because it makes my books seem so much smaller and more unimportant than they actually are. So I prefer graphic novel because it's a novel, it's not a comic. And I don't know why it sticks with me, but it does. And it sounded super obnoxious and I don't know why it stuck with me, but it has. And so every time I read a graphic novel now, I think about that, so. I mean, I think comics are graphic novels and graphic novels are comics. It's the, it's, it's, it's the same thing, pretty much, just a different word. But yes, I finished Pumpkin Heads and I'm actually probably gonna start this. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it tonight because it's like 10 and I haven't showered yet. So I'm actually gonna shower, but I might start this tonight. Don't know if I'll finish it, but I am gonna start it tonight. Okay, this is a really small thing, but I absolutely love the art style. This picture in particular made me think about I love the way the arms look and everything in the hands, and I don't know, I just, this this one bit just really makes me appreciate the art style. Like, oh my gosh, I just love the way those arms are drawn. It's just, it looks so good. I love it. I showered, and this was so cute. It was so heartwarming and sweet and precious and this just makes me so happy i love this so much this is beautiful please if you read any graphic novel ever read this one because it is precious and wonderful and i just oh my gosh i love it so please 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 check it out please oh my goodness this was just beautiful and I love the artwork and there's also a little thing at the end that shows the artist's drawing process and Jen Wang who made this comic they drew it all they wrote it and colored it and everything and it's just beautiful so please check it out buy it support it please it's amazing I am definitely gonna check out more of Jen Wang's other stuff because oh my gosh this is heartwarming and one of my favorite graphic novels now I'm deciding after all of those to star Jenny Hans, Always and Forever, Laura Jean, because I haven't read it yet. I've read the first two books, but I haven't read this one. And The Prince and the Dressmaker and Pumpkin Heads put me in such like a nice, sweet mood that I want to keep it going with the contemporary. So that is what we're doing because the rest of the books are like fantasy or dystopian and so I'm like why don't we do a sweet contemporary so that's what we're doing. I've already read like one chapter I'm probably not going to read any more tonight but yes I did finish three books today and now we're on book number four and I will probably finish it tomorrow if this trend keeps up. So 
So yes, I will keep you updated, but for now, you know, good night. So as you saw, I literally spent all day going to different bookstores. So yeah, I don't know. Let's see if we can, let's we'll see if we can get some better lighting in here. I went to like three different bookstores and then there was one more I wanted to go to, but it was getting kind of late and I see Jonathan Van Ness tonight. So I decided to play it safe and just come straight back to the hotel. Also, I spent enough money today and I still want to buy some merch at Jonathan's show. So, but I figured I'd show you what I got. I got a little mini bookish haul. How exciting. So the first thing I got, I got from Julia's Cafe and Books. I think that's what it's called. And I got a book. I got House uh, by Frank Peretti and Ted Decker. And I picked this book up because it sounds interesting. And also it's by Ted Decker. And if you know how I got into reading, uh, Ted Decker, he wrote a lost book series and that was one of the first book series that really got me into reading, uh, shortly followed by the Warriors books, of course, but uh, Ted Decker, he, Ted, Ted, Decker <laughs> Ted Decker, he writes a lot of like Christian fiction slash horror books, and this is one of his more horror ones, and they're not like overly Christian and religious, but they have, you know, some themes in it, so, but I really like his books. I really enjoyed the Lost Book series, and so I saw this, and I figured I'd pick it up because it was only like $4. Next, I went to Book Buyers. It was the place that had cats. They had like, I saw two out of four cats. One of them did not come near me at all. The other one was screaming because it wanted treats and I didn't get any video of that one because there were people around, but it was really cute. And I got this Wonder Tote. Um, it says, choose kind. And then on the other side, it has Wonder. And I wasn't gonna buy it originally, but I saw this and I just, I thought it was super cute. So I picked it up. After that, I went to Paper Skyscraper, which I thought was a book bookstore, but turns out it's like, I don't know, kind of like a creative store that has like one section of books and then some other like bookish items, I guess you could say, kind of. There were a lot of cards and stuff, but I found these cat socks that were amazing. I loved them so much. I had to get them. Like, look at that. Aren't they beautiful? And I also got Good Morning, Good Night little pep talks for me and you by Lynn Mignon Miranda illustrated by Johnny Sun which I picked up because I mean it's full of little pep talks and I love Lynn Mignon Miranda and I kind of flipped through it and I was interested so I picked that up as well and thus concludes my little bookish haul so that's what I got up to today so number one 
I look fantastic. Try and tell me otherwise. Number two. Someone from room service saw this in my refrigerator and opened it and drank like half of it. I did not drink half of this. I had one full one in here to drink tomorrow so I could spend like the whole day at my hotel. But half of it's gone. I didn't drink this. Someone else drank it. Someone came to clean their room and drank it. So now I have to pour it out. Oh my gosh. I've never ever had that happen before where someone came in and cleaned my room and drank my drink. Wow, that sucks. Well, I just came back from Jonathan's show. Jonathan did a great job and his show was amazing. I did get some shirts though. I got Van Yas and then just the Road to Beijing and then I think on the back it has, yep, the tour dates and stuff. So I did get a couple shirts and I do like these. which I did not need, but I bought some books, which is a giant shocker, isn't it? So I actually did some reading. I, I read some more of Always and Forever Laura Jean. I'm like 100 pages in and I'm enjoying it, although I'm kind of scared because I know this is like the one book that, I, I, I think this is the least liked book in the series. So I'm kind of scared, still kind of scared, but um, I bought this one book, uh, Neanderthal Opens the Door to the Universe. By the way, the bookstore was amazing. I went to like Road Park Books, I think that's what it's called. And it was really cool, but I got this book. And from what I understand, it is about a boy that is teased in school who teams up with another boy who says that he spoke to God and now they're on a mission to try and make the world a better place, which the way that they phrased it sounded so interesting and like it could be so entertaining. So I bought this to try it and see how I like it. And I actually, get ready for this. I bought a Marissa Meyer book. I bought Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I don't know why, I have nothing against Marissa Meyer. I've seen her at Y'all Fest and she seems so nice and very lovely. But for some reason, I felt like I would just never get around to reading her books. Well, I found a paperback of Renegades, and so I bought it, and I'm gonna read it. Because why not? This one sounded good, so I'm gonna give it a shot, hopefully like it, but those are the books that I bought, which I did not need to buy. And I don't know how I'm gonna get these all back home, but we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, my day was good. I also, I also got Taco Bell, so. Mm. I'm gonna go film a video now. <laughs> Thank you, okay. Haha, <laughs> I filmed a YouTube video. This is from my vlog now. How do you like my little setup? I'm in a chair. Do you know how weird it is to sit in a chair while filming a video? Usually I'm sitting on the floor. It's so weird. But I did the newbie book tag thing. So I thought that'd be fun. I feel like it might be a really bad video. <laughs> That's what I got. <laughs> That's what I, I done did. So uh, the, the view is very pretty outside. I'm looking at all the trees and the trees are gorgeous. I love the autumn leaves, even though it's like November and basically winter now. It's not even early November, it's late November. It's basically December by now. Isn't that crazy? A professional booktuber. Um, Jonathan's book was holding up the back of my phone. Also I have my ticket in there. I think I'm gonna print out a picture of Jonathan when I get home and put it in a little frame with my ticket because that's the thing that I do. But I have all the, all the books stacked up. But look at how pretty it is outside. But look at that. It's not pretty. Look at the leaves. Also, I was just going to say, I love watching traffic just go by. But yeah, okay. Um, that's it. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Also, I do so know about Hamilton because you play the soundtrack all day long. She sings, talk less, smile more. This is a personal attack on my life. I don't play it all day long. I play it most of the day, but not all day. This is a personal attack. I relate to Laura Jean very, very much.
Hello, good morning. So I'm very clearly leaving Charlotte today. And originally I was going to end the vlog when I left, but I haven't finished the last Saw the Boys of Love before. So I think I'm gonna stretch this until I finish it. <laughs> because it doesn't feel right to end a reading vlog while I'm in the middle of a book. So yeah, that's, 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 that's what we're doing. But I am leaving Charlotte today. But do you wanna see what I've been drawing? That's not something we do in a reading vlog, but do you want to see what I've been drawing? Because I started working on it last night and I don't, un I don't understand how deer work is all I have to say. I'm gonna change this so you don't see all the pictures that I have. Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna let you see my reference and what would have been drawing. Oh, I need to, hold on. Yeah, I don't understand how deer work. It looks like a Disney deer and not a realistic deer. I'm gonna fix it, probably. But that is what I have been drawing and I have been working on. And I don't know why, but if I sketch something really quickly, it looks more like Dan versus when I put a lot of time into it. And I think it's because I overanalyze every little detail. So then I zoom out and I'm like, that does not look like Dan. So, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. I think it looks cute, but that's what I've been doing. So it's been fun. And I am almost halfway through to all the boys love before I will probably be halfway through today and I'm actually gonna do some reading before I leave here since I have time before I have to check out. So see ya guys later. Hello. So I'm home. I'm going to the beach tomorrow. But I finished, uh, what is it called? Always and Forever by Laura Jean. I keep wanting to call it Forever and Always by Laura Jean. By Laura Jean? Always and Forever, Laura Jean, um, by Jenny Han. <laughs> Anyways, I finished it. I gave it five stars because it had a very satisfying ending. Jenny Han scared me for a while there, but it did have a satisfying ending, so I gave it five stars. I really enjoyed it. Loved the series. Had a great time. So yeah, I did finish it, and it was good. So this is, the, that's the end of this vlog. <laughs> I'm terrible at vlogging, but that is the end of this vlog. Thank you for watching if you did. <laughs> I hope you have a, a great day, a great week. I'll see you next week for another video. Okay, I'll see you next week. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. All right, bye. <laughs>